May I help you, madam? I'd like to sell gold, please. For cash. Certainly, madam. And the weight? 100 kilos. That's one million dollars, please. London, Paris, New York, Rome, all completely saturated. Now God's blood, man. Figures, figures. Since nine o'clock this morning, the markets of Western Europe have been flooded with gold bullion. Some 5,000 kilos so far, $25 million worth. The pound, the mark, the franc are all completely undermined. Overseas? Well, Hong Kong's closed, sir, and New York hasn't opened. But I imagine their knees are knocking. $120 an ounce and falling. And taking our currencies with it, sir. Where the hell's it coming from? We analyzed the first batch that came on the market this morning, sir. Soviet, 0.999 fine. 9 a.m., it was worth over $10,000. And now you couldn't get a Mexican strumpet to scratch your back for it. Investors are unloading their Krugers, their Sovereigns, even their gold fillings for whatever they can get. The market's gone mad, sir. What's the motive? Political? Strategic? It's completely undermining our economies. I'll pass our findings on to the Chancellor, sir. There doesn't seem to be... You'll possible. pass that no further than you pass water. This is our concern. I beg to differ, sir. A world run on gold, a loss of confidence in all our major currencies, it's outside our sphere, sir. It's not yet worldwide. It's limited to Europe. We must contain it here. Or? Or Western economies collapse. And we'll be tilling soil and medieval pig farms for the next ten generations. Gun and powder. Oh, Sir Anthony, I must object. What can the whole of Interpol, let alone Michael Gunn and that half-baked sidekick of his, do? Special executive was established to deal with the unusual, the desperate and the hopeless. Any of these amply suit this morning's havoc. In any case, I, for one, don't fancy a spell in the Dark Ages. Get gunpowder. Good morning, Mr. Gunn. You and your ally are instructed to report to Special Executive immediately. Present cover location, Central District Hospital. Appropriate dress required. This tape will self-destruct in five seconds. Sir? 
powder. Powder, get the lead out. As usual, Michael, your time is atrocious. This isn't a social call. Your transport is ready, sir. Trouble, I suppose. Big trouble. All hail Caesar, I await my command. Special executive, pronto. It may come as a terrible shock, but some of us do have to work for our living. And some of us have better things to do. See you at the office. Morning. George not on today. Go on, then. What about my yoghurt? Thanks. Not very talkative this morning, are you, lads? What's the matter? Cat got your tongue. Silver top? I never order silver top. This isn't what it used to be. Oh, what the Move, quickly, battery. Love the material. Silk. Tie silk. I suppose the recorder was your idea. Anything to attract your attention? No points for subtlety. Catch anything? Nothing short of a foul temper. You should have seen the one that got away. And you should pay more attention to one that hasn't. Struggling against your barbed hook. Please, not before breakfast. You aren't something more conservative. 
Style, Michael. Style. Mike. The name's Mike. Come along, boys. Beep, beep. Damn it, woman. Will you never learn to knock? Gun and powder, sir. Playing the market, sir? God's teeth, no, but someone is more unpredictable than a schoolgirl's virtue. Jeremy, gun. Morning, gentlemen. Powder. I'll let you gentlemen get on. Uh, a cup of tea wouldn't go amiss, Miss Bolt. Damn woman. Can't get good secretaries these days. Too many bleeding characters. Rome, Paris, Frankfurt, Zurich, London. Bedlam. Absolute bedlam. Makes the Wall Street crash look like an accountant's picnic. <laughs> At 9 a.m. this morning, $50 million worth of gold hit the market within the first 20 minutes of opening time. It hasn't let up. Do you get the picture? It sounds like a B picture to me. It means the collapse of our economies. Unless, unless we can stop the flow. As I see it, we've got uh, 22 hours. New York and Hong Kong will suspend gold sales for today only. If the flow isn't curtailed before the European market's opening tomorrow, well, we all might as well go fishing. Right. What have we got? Here's the file. What's this? Nothing, Mike. We've got absolutely nothing. It's a team spirit I enjoy. As far as we can tell, the main centre of activity seems to be here. La Belle France. That's it. Sorry, old boy. Special executive. The unlimited resources of Interpol behind us. It's the best that we can do. Oh, Miss Bolt, how many times have to tell you, please, not Sorry, before you... Sorry, sir, but I thought you'd like to see this. Ah, uh, kidnapping, yes, fine, very interesting. Thank you, Miss Bolt, I'll pass it on. Now, please leave us to get on with the business at hand. Right away, sir, but the victim's name did draw my attention. Keynes? Penny Keynes, research scientist. <laughs> Another damned interfering woman. That's sir, enough. Penny Keynes is the country's foremost auric metallurgist. Come again? Gold, sir. Gold. <laughs> Eating crackers. You wouldn't kick her out of bed for eating pickled onions and garlic sausage. Greatest post-war mining innovation worth late interest. 1980 on contract to United States Government, Department of Auric Studies. Work classified. 1984, seconded to Center of Autology and Auro Sciences. Work classified. Politically active. No secrets from my little black book. Whatever she was working on, they ain't giving it away in cornflakes packages. <laughs>
What we need to know is who took her and why. Beauty is never enough. Speaking of which, lady in distress. Hold your horses, Sir Galahad. There's work to be done. The world will be saved just as quickly. But don't ask for my help. Of assistance? Well, thank you if you wouldn't mind. Uh, I do seem to have a bit of a problem. Yes, well, I've gone into this sort of thing before. That's just as well. I'm afraid I don't know one end of a screwdriver from another. And then hard to believe. Thank goodness you stopped. Certainly handy having a man around. Couldn't agree more. Speak of the devil. Hmm. I've just done my nails. As again. How promising. And you, how far are you going? Oh, as far as. It may interest you to know that I've gone as far as I'm going. And I'm not averse to a little assistance either. Cheshire. Can't get much further than that. I hate to interrupt, but do you think we might push off? A job well done. No thanks to you. Thank you, both. We'll be in the same neighborhood. Well, what a coincidence. Maybe we'll meet. It's not impossible. It's enough to drive one to drink milk. It's a state of mind. Mind. Oh, sorry. Thank you. O'Brien? Sean O'Brien, Miss Keane's assistant. My gun and uh, Parker. <sighs> Bloody business, this. Bloody is right. Gold, gold, gold. Don't know what all the fuss is about. Silly yellow metal. Mrs. D, our housekeeper. Would you boys like a nice cup of tea? Yeah, thanks. That'd be lovely. Ah, I've never seen anything like it. They went through this place like surgeons. They knew exactly what to look for and, and where to find it. Frightening. In like Piccadilly Circus here this morning, please, Ministry of Defence, and Lord knows who else. What'd they look like? I don't know. They stunned me before I could get a good look. The others didn't fare as well. Lucky for you. Who's been in this morning? Before the incident. No one out of the ordinary. A few MOD vehicles, that's all. Nobody else? What was Miss Keynes working on? All that, I'm afraid, gentlemen, is classified information. Did you see anything unusual, Mrs. Dean? Oh, uh, uh, me? Uh, no, nothing at all. 
I hope you don't mind silver top. Cursed milkman left the wrong order. Did the milkman come this morning? And late at that. Service today just isn't a stitch on what it used to be. I can remember. You didn't mention the milkman. The milkman? No. I said no one out of the ordinary. And milkman's hardly a threat to national security. Hardly. No. Well, that was a pretty useless diversion. I didn't think so. Got a hunch. Your hunches usually get me into hot water. Check out the staff and the gatekeeper. See if they saw or heard anything unusual. I suppose while I'm working, you'll just swan about looking butch. There's something wrong about that O'Brien. He's just not your type. Oh, no. You promised not again. Party man. I need the car. No, I refuse. I've got to think of my image. You boys to me, then. Just off, Mrs. D. Michael. Mind how you go, then. We will. Goodbye. Michael. you are, sir. No, as I was saying, nothing at all out of the ordinary. Before the alarm went up, that is. M.O.D. M.O.D. C.I.D. M.O.D. What's Heald's? It's the local dairy. It's the only one in the area. It comes by every morning. Yes. Oh, funny thing, though. George wasn't on this morning. George? He's the usual milkman. It's a bit of a ladies man. He probably got way laid, if you know what I mean. I don't think I do. Uh, come to think of it, there were two new chaps on this morning. I'd never seen them before. Gently, gently. Miss Keynes is a very special commodity. I do not. I demand to know why I have been kidnapped. I trust you have not been poorly treated. We offer the utmost of comfort. In the back of a milk lorry? Don't be ridiculous. Uh, my apologies. It was a necessity. Oh, a necessity? Murdering my associates was a necessity? Release me immediately. Absolutely. But first, I'd like a little of your time and expertise. I don't deal with murderers. Such profanities, Miss Keynes.
I will not be threatened. The thought never crossed my mind. This is cream, one of a pair of identical twins, very skilled allies with invaluable assets. Pardon the melodramatics. I will not be threatened. Come. Let me show you something special. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. You are too kind. I am but a modest chemist. You've managed to stabilize it in liquid form, without heat. Gold. Liquid gold. For you. But my strength is my weakness. After 24 hours, it turns back to liquid. Oh, my God. Cooperate. And the riches, the light, the gold of the world can be yours. Your discoveries are phenomenal. Given time, this could be solved. Why don't you return to London? What would be the point? Everything we do is for influence, for power, for sex. I do not disillusion myself. I am no different. Then I cannot help you. You can. Cream! I will never help you. Not for... for evil. Never. You will. Tonight. You have eight hours. In that time you will change. No. Take her away. You will cooperate. You will. O'Brien. I told you never to call me. Here. He was here. Who? Gun. My gun. And that flashy sidekick of his. So soon? <laughs> Hello? They've been poking around, asking questions. I didn't expect all this so soon. Damn! They must be delayed. 24 hours. After that, it will not matter. What can I do? You can help. Offer them fresh information. Yes. And then? Oh, down blast! Leave the rest to us. Look, I've got no more change. I've run out of tens. When? Immediately. Time is of the essence. Mr. O'Brien has become expendable. 
please deal with him? Right, sir. Work and no play makes harder a dull boy. Good morning. Dave McTish, Milk Marketing Board, Quality Control. I'd like to inspect the premises. Oh. I'm sorry, uh, I didn't have any notice. Something. Spot check, love. Wouldn't do to come announced, would it? I think of the evils you might hide away. Yes, sir. Uh, well, uh, this is a surprise. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Uh, McTish. Viv McTish. Jack Boddington. Nice to meet you. And the pleasure's all mine. Yes. Uh, coffee? Uh, no, thanks. I'm trying to give it up. Oh. Well, then, uh... We'll, uh, we'll go right in.
You don't look much like a Milton. Oh, I come from a long line of Milton. We weren't introduced before. Mike Gunn. Coffee. <laughs> no, thanks. My name is Coffee, Coffee Carradine. Your father was a milkman, but they named you Coffee? Mum invited Dad in for a cup. He didn't leave for 20 years. Obviously, she didn't offer him decaffeinated. I'm no less addicted. I'll bear that in mind. Can I offer you something, Mr. Gunn? I thought I might ask you to do me a favor. Name it. I seem to have acquired a flat tire. Another coincidence. I wonder if your milkman might know something about it. It's not impossible. Milk. Whole milk. Cream milk. Chocolate milk. Creamy butter. Too fatty. I'm interested in something leaner. More lithe. Like skim, perhaps. Now, what do you know about skim? 60% less fat, added vitamins. You shouldn't have to worry. Is it readily available? If there's a market. Oh. There is. Oh, but you'll miss the cream. The curds. The whey. Maybe I can return the favor. It's not impossible. We're rather proud of our little establishment. Central storage. Cheese, milk, yogurt. Our processor's the newest in the country. Offloaders, boilers, separators, packing. All fully automated, all in-house. I doubt you'll find anything to worry the health authorities here. Hardly need the cars. Quite, Mr. Matish. Ours are in France. All our milk ship from there. France? Yes. UHT milk. Ultra heat treated. We boil it here, seal it in cartons, last for six months. But of course, you know all this. Please! France, you say? Yes, of course. Excellent. Excellent. Got a bacterium in the house. You should feel proud, justifiably proud, a storybook, Darren. All that glitters is not gold, eh, Mr. Boddington? Or may I call you Jack? Cream cheese. Curds. Whey. Neufchâtel. Wensleydale. Edam. Gouda. Emmental. Excelsior. Dull gelate. Mozzarella. Grillé. Edam. Tilst. Petit Suisse. Still. Cheshire. Leicester. Chevet. Brie. Edam. Stilton. Edam. Stilton. Edam. 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 Mozzarella. Those is not a pint of milk you're after. I suppose you want my help. 
If you don't mind. Do beg my pardon. We meet again. All right, Michael. Solid gold. Nice of you to come. Well, if you hadn't deserted me in such a rush, you might have learned something. Liquid gold, without heat. But enough of these cinematic dramatics. And now to stem the flow. On y va, mes enfants, à la belle France. Where exactly? France is a big country. Vesh. Dr. Vash. The one and only, the key. You will cooperate. You will. Gunpowder. Good God, Gun. Where have you been? Minor diversion, sir. A trifling inconvenience. The state of one's clothes is hardly trifling. Any progress? Yes, sir, I've quite a strong lead. Well, shake a leg, New York's open. I sometimes don't think you fully appreciate my efforts. I do, Powder, I do. I have my self-respect to consider. If we don't sort this thing out by 9 a.m. London time, gun, you can forget your... Don't you to elaborate. My life is not an easy one. And Powder can bid a you to his Swiss bank account. How? Quit gassing like two old women and get on with it, over and out. <laughs> Such a difficult life, hardly sporting. <laughs> I don't like it, sir. There's too much riding on those two. I wish we could cover ourselves. So do I, Jeremy. So do I. I am sure you would be more comfortable in my laboratory. Just do as I ask. No. No! 3 a.m., six hours. It'll take three to reach Montauban. I shouldn't have to save the world before six o'clock in the morning. So, they're moving in a liquid form. 
under the guise of UHT milk. But who supplies Vash? A hundred tons of pure gold doesn't grow on trees. Somewhere it does. How do they keep the gold liquid without heat? The answer that, and we'll know why they kidnap Penny Keynes. If they had all the answers, they wouldn't need Keynes. Brilliant, Batman. I've got a problem. When you've worked it out, give me a call. Company. Wake me up when it's over. Here we go. Down. I have great faith in you, Michael. I told you not to worry. I'm looking forward to some action. I'm not going to get any sleep whatsoever. dawn. Three hours, and it'll be all over for Vesh. Vash. Vesh. Or us. Oh, God, not again. I'll handle this my way. Boy, come on, my love. Right through the middle. At least we know we're on the right track. We gotta get off this road. Bad tactics come bang up the main drive. There is a lake. The back door. Can you hear me? I said, I said, all right. Get on the radio, man. Immediately, a ring was 
We'll helicopter them in, sir. Good man. Sir? T, I don't believe it. Top marks, Miss Bolt. Thank you, sir. Hello, Santa. Yeah, mine's with milk, please. Hello, Santa. Awaiting instructions. Remain unobserved. Observed. I think they want to come aboard. Here. I'll take over. Thanks. Two hours. Can you work no faster? Unlocking secrets of the ages is rarely achieved before breakfast. All will fail without your contribution. It cannot be rushed. It will be. Secrecy and surprise and flexibility. Adapting one's plans to the realities of the situation. Napoleon would have approved. Napoleon lost. ETA in 10 minutes. We'll bring the reinforcements in and take them with force. We get the girl, the gold, and the Oscar. If you don't mind, I'll do a little reconnaissance myself. Divided pincer movement, two-pronged attack. Wellington. Mind you don't talk to strangers. You're nearly as bad as my mother. It's all right. It's me, Lovell. Hey. 
call this reinforcements? You read the last defense budget? Undo me, will you? Anyway, there's more on the way. The SE are dropping powers at 0830 hours. In the meantime, we create a little diversion. A little ground cover, you might say. I would think this is a little out of your line, isn't it? Well, one likes to do one's bit. Oh. So where's powder? Plain in the sand. Well, better get a move on. Time is... Hold it! I wouldn't. I wouldn't. gentlemen. We don't want to keep our host waiting, do we? Another fine mess you got me into. Me? Shut up. Now move, gentlemen. Ten to one, the goats are there. A fine time to tell me. What do you propose? Double pincer movement? Sarcasm is the lowest form of wit. Shut up. And I thought I could depend on you. Don't nag. I'm getting a headache. Well, what a delight. The cavalry. Welcome, gentlemen. Please, not so enthusiastic. I'm a bit short on beauty sleep. Congratulations, Mr. Lovell. Where's the girl? Miss Keynes is quite safe. Unlike your economy. <laughs> I understand you like a good fight, Mr. Gunn. That's to say I prefer the physical. I'll radio control. Inform Sir Anthony that the location was incorrect. Rendezvous was not achieved. Do you send him our regards? May I introduce the Cream Brothers? We met. Hello, boys. Are you a betting man, Mr. Gunn? Depends on the stakes. Your life! Is that high enough? No great loss to mankind. Let us retire, Powder. I like a man who is forward. I've got other plans for you. Don't be too long. It's as long as it takes. Don't you guys get bored with this stuff? Ah! <laughs> 
More valuable than gold, my dear Powder. Mother's milk. The stuff of life. I'm not really into bondage. In two hours, the doors of the financial houses of Europe will open. The flow of gold will continue unabated. The economy will shiver and collapse. Money will be worthless. Your society will descend into the dark ages. Debauchery, depravity. Manhattan on a Saturday night. All your gold and diamonds and paper money will be worthless. Worthless. Oh, one thing. Yes? This gold, where does it all come from? Where? <laughs> where indeed? Goodbye, <laughs> Pam. I knew I should have warned my wipes. Of you to come. I'm sorry I got held up. You got held up. I said I'm sorry. Cutting it a bit fun, aren't we? Look, I'm getting a little fed up with all this criticism. Nearly messed up my hair. You want to be rescued or not? If you don't mind, Sir Galahad. That's just all mine. I'll have to get out of these wet things. Powder, there's one or two more pressing concerns. The end of the world is nigh. A beautiful scientist is about to be killed. I really don't think it's time to be worried about common cleanliness. There's only one thing that's common around here. What did you say? Nothing, nothing.
get back to the radio. I'm gonna need help. Reinforcements. You're not. My clothes were inside. Hey! You! Something less conspicuous. Really, Michael, the place has come for so much. It's a fine place to put a pipeline. Come on. You'll need this. A thoughtful. Center, are you there? Gunpowder, treason, and more gun! Pardon, sir. Our gallant Michael Gunn is, as I say, indisposed. Get to the point! God, Sai, where have you been? Do you know where the blasted time is? Temper, temper. We've encountered opposition. We sent assistance. What happened? Lovell's allegiance was a negotiable commodity. The blighter. Notify all sectors. I want Jeremy Lovell taken and held for questioning. Paris to be dropped on this location, Montauban, immediately. Powder. Aye, Captain. Bloody awful reception again. Get that damn radio kit, will you? <laughs> Mind the environment. Do not repeat, do not engage the opposition until we arrive. Actually, I prefer the single scene. We've checked our record, and the location you gave us is a prime pumping station for Siberian gas. Siberian gas? And that pipeline runs straight from the Soviet Union. So that's how? Exactly. Milking our economy. Over and out. It's done. Quickly, quickly. We only have a few minutes. Bolt. Glad you could make it. Anything to see you being shot at. Thought you might need another big gun. Where's the pipeline? Straight ahead through those bushes. 100 yards. Shall we, boys? Tie ho! Don't you just love domineering women? Like first date. Did you have to go to this extent? 
You're a hard woman to please. <laughs> this way, right now. Where's your gun? The solution. The solution. Right there. The solution. There, man. This. to do this to you for a long time. Ow! Ah! You silly man. Where's Besh? Not now. Must alert the market. Boat to special executive. Boat to special executive. Come in, Belt. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yours. Everything Look, we can't control. stay here. We have to leave now. Mother, the gold please, isn't yes. stable. What happened? 
Must be off. Pressing engagement. Must dash. Um. Yes. Oh. All over my new clothes. Won't you fret over spilt milk? Not such a bad colour. Rather fetching, don't you think? Bye. 